More than 25 million travelers passed through BWI Thurgood Marshall Airport last year. A lot of people probably know little about the man for whom it's named. In tonight's Black History Month report, you may find new appreciation for the late U.S. Supreme Court Justice, a Baltimore native who gave much more than his name to this city, state, and country. We're in the Thurgood Marshall Law Library. Yes, we are. You were instrumental in having it named. Yes. In 1980, the University of Maryland Law School saluted the nation's first black U.S. Supreme Court justice with the Thurgood Marshall Law Library. Thurgood Marshall was the most important American lawyer of the uh, 20th century, and he was a Baltimorean, and he was a Maryland uh, uh, lawyer. Justice Marshall attended law school at Howard University in the nation's capital. In the 1930s, UM Law was a segregated school. Marshall didn't apply knowing that he'd be barred. Thurgood Marshall could not attend here. He brought the lawsuit that successfully desegregated the school in 1935. It's regarded by historians as the first step on the road to Brown versus Board of Education. Marshall led the NAACP to a legal victory by way of that landmark 1954 U.S. Supreme Court ruling. It eradicated institutionalized racism in education. But as a young lawyer in his hometown, Marshall broke down barriers in Baltimore. One of the reasons why I went to uh, the University of Maryland Law School is because of Thurgood Marshall. Maryland Congressman Elijah Cummings was a lawyer before he became a lawmaker. This Baltimore native thinks Marshall's actions of protest to affect policy should elevate his legacy. I would venture to say that Thurgood Marshall should be on the level of a Martin Luther King um, because of the things, the doors that he opened. That's why one of his law professors, Larry Gibson, who's written a critically acclaimed book about Thurgood Marshall, played a key role in writing legislation that memorialized a judicial giant with the state's greatest gateway. One of the proudest achievements of my life is pushing the legislation that led to the renaming of that airport. He was the main impetus that propelled Maryland lawmakers to rename this airport Baltimore Washington International Thurgood Marshall Airport. He was also instrumental in the installation of this tribute space to Thurgood Marshall in the center of the airport. I worked on that with him. I went and te I testified, uh, which was very significant. And it's kind of unusual for a congressman to go to the state legislature. Their appeal to the legislature led to a 2005 law. Now the busiest airport in the Baltimore, Washington metropolitan area bears the name of a man whose whole life was a journey for universal justice. It's the largest facility owned by the state. Where people are traveling, where people are able to reach their destinies. Um, to me, that was meaningful. Wow. Marshall's destiny led him from Baltimore to the federal bench in New York and U.S. Solicitor General under President Lyndon Baines Johnson. President Johnson appointed Marshall to the U.S. Supreme Court in 1967. He retired in 1991. He died two years later at the age of 84.